In this video, we'll balance the equation for K2S plus CuSO4, potassium sulfide plus copper 2 sulfate. So let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. So we have two potassium atoms, one sulfur, one copper, and then we have this sulfate here. It stays together. We have it here and here. So this is a nice trick you can use with any equation where you have these polyatomic ions that stay together and are on both sides. We just count it as one thing. So we have one of these sulfate ions. This will save you a lot of time and you can use it on all kinds of double displacement reactions where we have these polyatomic ions. On the product side, two potassium, one sulfur, one copper, and then I'm counting this as just one thing, one sulfate. So you can see this is a lot neater. It's a lot easier to work with. And all of a sudden we see that everything is the same on both sides. So this equation is actually already balanced. If you were to report the coefficients, you'd say one, 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 one. It's interesting to note with this reaction that these substances here, this is aqueous, these things are aqueous, potassium compounds, very soluble, but the copper sulfide, that's a solid. So when these two react, this is gonna to fall to the bottom of the test tube. This is a precipitation reaction. So we would have this at the bottom of our test tube at the end of this reaction. This is Dr. B with the already balanced equation of K2S plus CuSO4, potassium sulfide plus copper 2 sulfate. Thanks for watching.